Every morning I get up and first thing I do is get dressed, make the bed, check my weight every morning. Uh, Kayla's getting ready and I cook her breakfast and sit down with her and um, next thing you know she's out the door. Uh, I make my breakfast, my vice shake, my fruits and oats and um, just kind of relax, watch uh, Sports Center, um, uh, just keep up to date on the news and my sports, things like that. And then uh, just get my stuff ready for the gym and head to the gym about 9 o'clock, <coughs> start getting after it. Beautiful day. My name is Dustin Jacoby, and I train mixed martial arts full time. I'll tell you right now, it's a it's a rocky road. Um, I, I quickly found out, man. It, you got to put your time in, and regardless of how good you think you are, it takes years, and it takes time, and it takes patience. What's up? I turned pro in November of 2010, so I'm going on, uh, this will be my third year of training full time. I made it to the UFC in less than a year. I was very fortunate, I was doing some bouncing jobs. I was just fresh out of college, I was bouncing on the weekends and training during the weeks and that was my money, get me through the week and then of course I'd fight and get paid, which was for nothing uh, back then. Um, but the wins, it, it was all for something. Growing up, I had a twin brother. I mean, we were always at each other's throats in a good way. I mean, we are always pushing each other. We wrestled, we did Taekwondo, we played sports, and we were the ultimate competitors. First off, going back, my brother called me up one night, and he was like, you know, I'm in college. I, it's a Friday night, I play football, I have a football game the next day. And he called me up and uh, said he was getting in a fight. And I was like, well, what do you mean getting in a fight? And he was like, I'm putting gloves on and I'm walking into a cage and I'm going to fight somebody. He's like, you got to be kidding me. What? I mean, I've never heard of that. So I start Googling MMA and, and cage fighting and all this stuff. Next thing you know, I'm going to his fights. And I was like, man, I would never do that. Well, then next thing you know, He's getting me signed up for a fight in, in the summer before I go back to school. Got signed up and it was kind of like a tattoo, the first one you get and then you just, you gotta keep going. And ended up having some amateur fights. Uh, could not wait for football season to get over so I could have some more fights. I think it was just the thrill of competing with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. And then next thing you know, I've, I'm just tearing up. I'm going through amateur fights. I had like four fights in eight weeks, uh, one time as an amateur. And uh, school got over in May. I was like, why not? Why not start training full time? I was infatuated with the sport. I was infatuated with the names like Matt Hughes and, and Chuck Liddell and Rampage Jackson and, and you know all the big names. I was like, man, those guys are awesome. I want to do that. And uh, so I started training full time and turned pro and the rest is history, now I'm doing it. To look at what I've gotten into now, it totally makes sense, just the entire life I've lived. My, my entire life has been a practice. What you see right here is what I do full time. Uh, every single morning, Monday uh, through Friday, 9 to 11, we train. Uh, and every single evening, 5 to 7, we are in here training. What you see is a bunch of hard working dudes that are, are trying to, you know, one day get to the top of the food chain in this sport. And, I tell you right now, they wouldn't be doing it if they didn't think that they were capable of it, and I certainly wouldn't do it if I didn't think I was capable of it, so I do this 100%. So this afternoon, uh, it's Friday, like I said earlier, we like to start the week fast and finish strong, and uh, I'm going to get with one of my good buddies and cornermen, uh, Ryan Molahan, and we're going to go bike some trails of, uh, of Springfield. I think obviously, without without doubt, my lowest point was uh, when I had lost my first loss in the UFC, first professional loss overall, and then come back and lose two in a row. Uh, my second fight in the UFC, you know, you lose two, it's like, man, you're getting cut. The th crazy thing was I wasn't even cut for a while, but uh, ended up getting cut. 
I'd say that was one of the, the lowest of the lowest. So then I really started questioning, you know, am I good enough? If, if I can't win at that level, then what's the point of doing this? Because if you're in for this sport to make money, you're in the wrong sport. I mean, there's few and far between that, that make a lot of money. And um, if, I mean, if that's your reason, you might as well go get a job and stop now. But I just kept going after the UFC. I had a couple big fights and I won them. And I was like, you know, maybe I can keep going. And then I had a kickboxing tournament and had three fights in one night and won a grand prize. So that was awesome. That, that was just, I'm still on cloud nine from that and, and ready to take that momentum into to the rest of my fights. Capital City Cage Wars at the Prairie Capital Convention Center. The Uprising. Uh, what a phenomenal night. This is the first time that pro fights have come back to Springfield in over 20 months. Everybody's trying to improve their professional career. The pinnacle, obviously, making it into the UFC. You have to build your fight record, and you have to get a number of wins. And so every time you have an opportunity to get a quality win, like the opponents that these guys were really facing today, it bodes well for your career chances in taking that next step. Every fight's very very important to me. I've never went into a fight like, ah, you know, well, if I lose, I lose. It, it's never been the case. I'm, every fight's the biggest fight of my career. I'm always going in to finish the guy, and I'm never, I'm always going in to win. Losing's never an option. I realize it happens, but, uh, you know, I've been, I've been to the top of my career. I've had losses. I've been at the bottom, so I'm just trying to keep it going, trying to keep the momentum going. This is my career. This is how I make a living, so every fight's very important to me. I'll tell you right now, this this lifestyle is not cut out for everyone. Um, there's people that are, have a desk job and they're very good at it. And, and that's what they do every morning and that's what they do. They, they get up and fight every day. And this is just an alternative. This is my job full time. You never know. I mean, I got a, a call on 48 hours notice to go do a kickboxing tournament. And next thing you know, I, I win it. And this whole other opportunity arises for me. So you just never know. Our life is it's pretty crazy. It's, not, it's inconsistent, I'll tell you that much. Now. Um, I, I'm signed with Glory, which is the biggest uh, fight promotion outside the United States. I'm also signed with World Series of Fighting, which is a big organization in the United States. So things are really starting to pay off. Just got to stay on the daily grind and hopefully um, things will continue to just keep going up. Judge Ali Kittle also scores the bout 29-28. Ladies and gentlemen, Split decision is Dustin If I live by a motto, that one's easy, brother. Eyes on the prize.